Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So the previous video I did on product ideas and it got some really good feedback. Um, I uploaded that last week. So I thought why not do another video this week and if it proves to be a popular topic, then perhaps I can make it a weekly thing. Anyway, today I've got three new, brand new, awesome products to share with you. And as always then, we're gonna be going through what price I recommend you sell these products for. So you know exactly what the break even point is before you start making a profit. And I'm also gonna be going through the Facebook interests and targeting options for all these different products as well. Before we jump into product number one, a very quick message. I am giving away a free one-to-one -one call with me in this video. I do it every single video. So make sure you subscribe then for that daily chance. I have pretty much been uploading daily videos recently. Anyway, for your chance to win that, it's dead easy to do. Simply hit the like button below this video and leave a comment down below. In terms of your comment, it can be whatever you want. Just comment ecom or ask me a question. I will get back to you. I respond to every single question. Um, and that's how you enter then. If you commented on my previous video, just make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And with that being said then, let's jump straight into product number one. So product number one then is this rechargeable portable mini pump. Now, when I first saw this product, to be honest with you guys, I was a bit skeptical about it, but the more research I did into it and the more sort of information I found out, then the more it kind of made sense and the more potential that kind of presented itself. Um, the first point being then is the fact that it's rechargeable and it's portable, so you can take it anywhere you want, which opens up a huge scope for this product. It could be for, somebody could just keep it in their glove box of their car in case they get a flat tire. Obviously cyclists, it's gonna be a handy product for cyclists and camping too for people blowing up their airbeds and they don't necessarily have access to a power supply, then a product like this is just gonna be absolutely ideal. The fact that it's rechargeable as well makes it eco-friendly. One of the biggest feedbacks then, um, in fact, it was more of a complaint when I was selling within the cycling niche LED lights, was that customers wanted a rechargeable light because it's better for the env environment, plus it's a lot more hassle-free. So if you have battery powered things, and obviously you have to make sure you keep stock of batteries, you have to keep throwing them away and replacing them, etc. Whereas with rechargeable, obviously um, it saves all of that hassle, and in the long run, it's gonna save you money on batteries too. So that was that's definitely another plus for this product that people will like. Moving on to point number two then, which is great upsell and cross-sell opportunities. You only have to think about within the cycling niche and camping niches especially, there's just hundreds of different products that you could add on top of this and offer people. And if you're not if you're not integrating upsell and cross-sells into your store, you are 100% losing money. It's like the number one thing I recommend people do to increase their average order values and as a result, you're also gonna increase your profit margins. Point three then is that there's some really effective marketing ad capabilities and opportunities for a product like this because it is such a visual product and I'm gonna demonstrate um, what I mean by that in a second. I've actually found a really cool ad that I like. Um, but I also wanna combine this then with point number four, which is that it's popular with people, which is the comments on the ad, which I'm about to show you. You'll see in a second that people are actually really liking this product. So this is the ad itself. Um, I'm just gonna play kind of like the first 10, 20 seconds for you so you can see exactly how to demonstrate something so effectively. And the best way, I've said it in previous videos before, is that it's just to show the product working and what it can actually do for someone, how it can make somebody's life easier. And as you can see, there's so many different applications for something like this, from basketballs to car tires to bike tires, etc. The next thing I wanted to show you guys then was the comments for this product. We can see that it's quite popular. People are quite liking a product like this. Um, so for car and bike owner, I own a bike and car, obviously. Um, that's a pretty stupid comment, in fact. But I like this, love this, cool one. Oh my God, wow, we need one. Um, somebody asking about the Pressure Max. The next thing I want to point out, in fact, is a bit of a side note, but this page is actually replying to pretty much almost every comment, um, telling people where to go to buy this. And this is a really effective strategy. And trust me, if you've got the time to do this, it can make all the difference. One thing I would say though, is don't just spam people with the same message like these guys are. Make sure you put a custom tailored, um, proper message to these people and always sign it off with your first name as well. Those little personal touches, trust me, can make all the difference. Moving on to the interesting part of this product then is how much money can this thing potentially make us? So if you're getting it shipped from China to the UK, you're looking at £27.93, including an e-packet, um, which is about $35 if you're watching this from the US. Um, in terms of the real retail price then of what I recommend you sell this at, I would say £60. Now you might be thinking £60, no chance is somebody gonna spend that. But if we see, have a look at what these guys are selling it for, 
and I believe um, I think it's 77 pounds which is a lot cheaper than what these guys are selling it for so as it says there in brackets that's as a minimum I would start at that at a point and if you do well then slowly start to creep the price up so that leaves quite a healthy profit margin of about 32 pounds and if you can achieve a cost per purchase of 10 pounds then obviously that's 20 pounds clear profit per sale which is very decent you'd only have to sell say 10 of these things every single day and that's about 70 grand profit a year so do the maths, it's 60 pounds divided by 32 profit, leaves you with a 1.87 break even ROAS, um, which is fairly achievable on Facebook in my opinion. In terms of the targeting then, also another key um, points to this video to give you guys an idea of how to go out there and sell the products like this. I would go for male and female. Um, usually I would stick to just male within the cycling niche, but with it being Christmas coming up, I can see the old wife or girlfriend seeing this um, especially if their husband or boyfriend is into cycling and treating them to a nice present like this. I would go 25 plus then in terms of age, just purely because there's not gonna be many people younger than that that have the spare kind of cash of 60, 70 pounds to spend on a bike pump. In terms of the actual interests themselves, obviously um, you've got camping, you've got Halfords if you wanna try and sell to people within the car niche. So if you're watching this from the US, I'm not sure if Halfords is over that side actually, but Halfords is a car shop basically. And then obviously in the UK too, we've got a store that's called Blacks and that's an outdoor shop for people who like hiking um, and camping and those sorts of things. So that's product number one then. Moving on to product number two, another cool product that I come across on my Facebook newsfeed, I believe. Um, and something like this, I believe just has that wow factor because it's something new that not many people have seen before. So the way this product works, I will be showing you a video ad for this too, is that rather than having a remote control car, you've put this thing on your hand and depending on the motion of your hand, it depends on what the car does. So it makes the perfect gift for Xmas, which makes it purely really relevant for this time of year. And it's a unique RC car. It has that unique selling point that I've just mentioned that not many people will have seen before. And that in itself is what's gonna attract a lot of people, especially parents, to a product like this. In terms of the marketing ad capabilities too, it's really effective because it's a really cool product that if you demonstrate it well, then obviously it's gonna attract a lot of people, it's gonna get a lot of engagement, and the more engagement you can get on your Facebook ads, then the better. So again, I'm just gonna play you the first kind of 20 seconds of this ad so you can see exactly what it does. If it was me then, I would actually buy this and record my own video ad just because I'm confident in my own abilities to produce something a bit better than this. But if you'd rather just get straight down to selling, what I would do is contact the supplier and ask them for the original file for this that doesn't have the Chinese writing over the top and then obviously just add your own writing to it. So that's product number two then. Let's just go back to the presentation and continue on with the points. Number four then is it's easy targeting on Facebook because Facebook you can target certain things specifically about somebody. One of those things is what kind of children they have in terms of their age, um, which we're gonna be going through in a second. And the final point then is great profit margins. So including the e-packet then is £41.79, which sounds quite expensive, but then I would say you could sell this for easily £80. Typically for a decent RC car then, certainly when I was growing up, you were looking at in excess of £100 and the technology to have a controller like this probably didn't even exist either. So I think, personally, I think you could get away with a bit more than this, closer to £100. And if you can, that's going to make a big, diff, a big deal in terms of your profit margins. Even at £80, you're still looking at nearly £40 profit per sale. Take off your Facebook purchase cost and you're still looking at 28 to um, to 30 pounds profit per sale. So again, you'd only have to sell say 10 of these things and you're looking at about 50 grand profit per year, if you can do that every single day, of course. So that leaves you then with a 2.09 break even ROAS, which is slightly high, but again, you don't have to sell many of these to make a decent chunk of money. Facebook targeting wise then, I would definitely go male and female, just probably because this makes a perfect gift um, from a parent. I would choose parents over the age of 30 plus as well, just purely because I, my guess would be the sweet spot with this would be a child in the age sort of 12, 13, 14 years old. And there's not gonna be many parents in their 20s that have kids that age, but you never know, it's always worth testing. Um, and then going back to what I mentioned earlier, one of the options in which you can actually do on Facebook is pick parents with children of a certain age. And I would say anywhere up to 15 years old um, would be ideal for a product like this. The other interests as well that I would include is online shopping. That is actually an interest you can target, which is ideal for this time of year. And so is the next one then, which is obviously engaged shoppers. 
By the way, guys, any questions on any of these products, any of the marketing strategies, whatever it is, make sure you leave a comment down below. Um, I always do answer every single question. Um, so whatever it is, then feel free um, and I will get back to you. Moving on to the third and final product then, um, one of my favorites is this multifunction vegetable slicer. So the reason I know this is a perfect gift for this time of year is for Xmas meal prep. So obviously most households in the UK are gonna be cooking some form of a Christmas dinner and a project like this will be ideal to help out with that. It's quite an operation, certainly in my household when the family is together and everybody's cooking, there's so much vegetable prep, meal prep, etc. going on. A product like this, in fact, I might even buy one for my dad because he tends to to do the cooking and he tends to recruit us all to come and like, chop up all the different vegetables etc and something like this then would just make that process a whole lot quicker and a whole lot easier as well. The next point then is it's really effective in terms of the marketing ad capabilities. I've got another great video ad to show you guys. I believe this one is actually on AliExpress too from the supplier. Um, so I would contact these guys, ask them where they got this video from, and if they made it themselves, then I would steal it. If they didn't, then just make sure um, you're careful about what kind of videos you use. But obviously, this video demonstrates the product itself really well. Um, and something like this is definitely gonna get a lot of attention on Facebook, which is gonna increase your engagement, it's gonna increase the shares, the comments, etc. And that can only prove to be a beneficial thing for Facebook ads. So a great product, a great visual product to be advertising. Final point then is there's great profit margins. One of the best products in fact in this video, um, which I'll go through now with you. So £8.77 including e-packets, so that's delivered, the only cost you'll have to pay. Obviously that's under that VAT and import duty threshold, which is £15 into the UK. Retail price, you could sell this at £25. Now I did quite a bit of research into this and I believe or not, I actually found some websites selling this for £40. So as kind of like the worst possible case, sell it at £25 and you're still looking at £16.23 profit, which leaves you with a break-even ROAS of 1.54, which is very easily achievable on Facebook, certainly in Q4 anyway. Moving on to the final point then of product three is the Facebook targeting. I would choose females. Now that's not me saying that, that is audience insights if you put cooking um, and family things like those those kind of interest into audience insights then you'll find that 70 to 75 percent of the audience is made up of females hence why i would say choose that um, i would go 35 plus as well just because certainly um, talking from experience, being a young-ish person at the moment, um, I can't be bothered with cooking. So me personally wouldn't buy something like this because I don't go to those kind of extremes. It tends to be the slightly older generation that would cook proper meals. Um, that's just in my opinion, don't hate on me for that. Um, and then in terms of the actual interests themselves, I would go for online shopping again and engage shoppers. I always would this time of year because that way you're gonna make sure that you're focusing on those people who are doing their Christmas shopping on Facebook, which is only gonna be a good thing. The final two then is cooking, which you can target as an interest and you can actually target family as an interest too. Because obviously, if somebody lives on their own or with one other person, they're not gonna be cooking a massive meal and a product like this might not be as desirable. Whereas in a big family like mine, where there's eight of us as a minimum, um, then there's gonna be a lot of meal prep going on and there's gonna be more uses for a product like this. Now, with that being said, guys, that pretty much covers all three products. Moving on to the final slide, I just wanna say thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, the support on the channel recently, especially, has been absolutely awesome. So thank you very much. Please do keep it coming. Please make sure you hit the like button, follow me on Instagram, and I have got some free eBooks as well that are available to download for free. So make sure you check them out in the video link below, in the description below. And with that being said then, let's get into announcing the winner of the one-to-one -one call from my previous video. What's up guys? So this is my previous video then. If you haven't seen it yet, please go check it out. Um, it's had some really good feedback, so I'm sure you'll like it. Anyway, we're here to announce the winner. I've copied the URL. I'm just gonna put it in this box here, get the YouTube comments, 21 unique comments, which is absolutely awesome in a day. So thank you very much. And the winner of the previous video then is Jim. So thank you very much, Jim, for your comment. Hit me up on Instagram, we can get the call arranged. And guys, if you just wanna get straight down to business, book a call for the next 24 to 48 hours, you can do so. Just make sure you check out the links in the video description below. And with that being said, thanks again for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.